Cutscene? Flying whale? Oh my god, there's actually flying mounts. I mean... Like, let's, let's actually break this down. Sorry, I keep... I think that scene's gonna be longer than it is. I mean, if you could go all the way up there, like, I, it's, it's hard to know the scale of the level and how far you can actually go. So when you see these trailers, it's like, oh my god, you can go to that mountain. Maybe this is just in the backdrop. You don't know. Um, but, like, ice area. We've got this area. We've seen some other towns in a similar region. We got a field region. Is that the same mountain from a different angle? Is that a different mountain? Can you go to these mountains? Like, it's so hard to know the scope of these games. It looks big. It looks ambitious. Um, but also, like, it looks like they've built a big world here. So if this exists in the current state, then, like, are they further along than we think? You know what I'm saying? Have we seen any gameplay, though? No. Other than flying around. Let me see a fight. Is that Pokemon? Like, that, that that thing just, like, evolved. Is that is this, like... Is there, like, a Pokemon feature in the game where, they, where they're gonna evolve? I don't know. Is that the same city as before? Is that the... Is that... That's not the same city! Can we go to this city? You know what I'm saying? This is like a modern city. I have no idea. Those were animations for attacks. Those have to be ultimate animations. Boss? Ultimate animation? Ultimate animation? So, I mean, they've got animations done for some of these things. Another ultimate animation. Cutscene. I have no idea. I don't know what to think. I mean, it looks it looks good, but is there end game? Is there is it hardcore? Is it easy? Is it Genshin? Is it Honkai? Right? Think about that. Azur Promilia de Voyage. Okay. Think about this. Think about this. Look at Genshin. And the audience that Genshin has, and then look at HSR and how they've continued to 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 innovate on their endgame systems and replayable systems, right? It's gonna be a different world, a completely different world. You you never know what they're gonna make. Okay, so there's that one. And then there was another one. This is actual gameplay. Am I allowed to watch this? Is it NDA? Brought to you by the crazy Azure Lane is a brand new. Okay, am I allowed to post? Am I allowed to show this? Must be. Public knowledge now, baby. All right, let me see this. There is a flying mount. Is this fast travel or can I legit just fly around? I can just fly around. I've got three characters. Here's my question is how come all of these game studios all at the same time have the tech to make a triple A looking open world game from Gotcha Game, and then all of them Ark Knights, Azur Lane, Hoyoverse, um, uh, Kuro Games, there's Project Mugen. How come all of them, in the matter of a few years, went from like mobile games to this? Is it because of the Gotcha money? Because they have tons of money? Is it because Unreal Engine updated and now they got some easy, easy tools to build this stuff? I don't know. But isn't it interesting that everyone can just all of a sudden make like this like triple A looking thing? Because the risk can pay off. Maybe. Maybe now they know the risk is worth it. And who's to say that another person can't make a better Genshin impact is also a very important thing. Who's to say that someone in the last three years isn't able to make something that is a better game, that has more systems, that is just more fun? You never know. Maybe they can't. Actually, I'll give you a great example of that. Last Epoch. Have you guys checked out Last Epoch? Last Epoch is getting really good reviews. Um, Last Epoch is getting, like, really good numbers on Steam overall. 62,000. But, like, if you look at the last few months, it was doing great. 250,000 people playing it. It's going down a little bit because there's not, you know, a ton of endgame stuff. But, like, this game popped. And, uh... This is a small studio compared to Diablo 4, and they made a better ARPG than Diablo 4. So you don't have to be a massive company to beat the big dog. 
Diablo 4 is a worse game than Last Epoch, in my opinion, in multiple ways. So it is possible that Azure Lane comes out or Azure Permilia, and they're like, yeah, we're just better than Genshin in every way. In every way. The boss fights are better. The questing is better. The story is... Like, you never fucking know. You have no idea. So we'll see. We got these, like, little pets, little mounts. Oh, I just realized. So this is this is the same as... Almost the same as Wuthering Waves. Each of these characters has a little pet. So some of them will be mount, some of them will attack with you. This is pretty popular in the game. How do you get them? I don't know. Maybe they're gotcha, but um, interesting. Interesting that's how they're doing it. Again, I don't know how far back here I can go. Okay, a little puzzle. Sure. We got some premium currency. All right, let's stop this and go back. So we've got crowd control abilities. There was a counter ability. Why does it say counter? There's a counter of some sort. Maybe it was this thing. That thing was blowing fire. I thought it was her attack. It's her little dragon blowing fire. So this thing actually attacks on its own. This thing is being alerted. A battle starts. Interesting. I'm just trying to look here. So we've got our two abilities, it looks like. Uh, it's got an active ability for the pet. Down in the corner there, Q ability. Okay, so she just popped the Q. 16 second cooldown. And now it's blowing fire. Was that... Wait, did that flash like a... Was that like an active attack? Hold on. No, it didn't flash like a quick time event. It looked like just a swap, but that's okay. Oh, 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 hold on. Maybe, maybe. This chick stays on the field over in the corner here in her animation. Look, she's on the field. So, I mean, I don't know. It, Wuthering Waves has very similar systems. So will this game be better than Wuthering Waves? We don't know. We have no idea. There's a lot of different competitors, though. Jesus. They're all coming up with a game like this. Is Project Mugen going to be like this? There's so many different games that are releasing of this caliber. And it's just going to be trying to find out which one's the best. One of them, one of them will kill Genshin. Or not. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be like Destiny where it can't be killed, but... But one of them will do something better. Wuthering Waves, for me, is the combat, is the bosses. I like that side of things. But maybe the quest long-term sucks. Maybe the progression sucks. But, I don't know. It looks cool. It looks pretty cool. I just realized she was stuck in a field. Did you see that? She, she couldn't leave the battle. There's like, there's like a wall here. So they want you to, you commit to that battle. You can't just run away. Maybe you can run away, but... There, there's absolutely a barrier here. Ultimate? I mean, is it just the Unreal Engine allows them to do this or what? But it, it looks just as good as, as Genshin would. Whatever. Now do some gotcha. Okay, so this is my party. They've got a bunch of different characters. This is a, it looks like a three-star unit of some sort. Okay. She's got multiple abilities. It's not in English. It's, a, it's an open world RPG gotcha. It's got a lot of the same stuff. It's got a, a lot of the same mechanics. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's got electric attacks. Uh, attack, defense, magic, HP, or, or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've all got different stuff, abilities, passives. Okay. Okay, so this is typical gacha. Oh, they're, she's, they're literally just going through all the characters. 
So some of them. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are all three star characters. Is that good or bad? Maybe there's one star, two star, three star. So maybe these are the best characters. Peng Peng has no stars. Three stars. She looks like the girl from from Aether Gazer, Lin or something like that. Okay. What is going on here? All right, this is my party. Okay. I can swap out my pets. Interesting. Maybe they have different support skills. There's different rarities to them. Okay. Swimming, exploration. Lots of little Pokemons around. Lots of enemies. Will the enemy density actually be like this? I don't know. But this is a lot of, of density. Maybe, maybe honestly too much. They just spawned a bunch of animals in. Like, maybe this isn't curated for, like, proper thing. Here is my issue, okay? And now the pessimist is coming out. When I look at how many enemies are spawned on the map, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of an auto-playing RPG. Like Nino Kuni. There's shitloads of enemies on the map, and your your team just runs to one enemy, runs to the next enemy, and just fights them. And there's it's just an endless thing because it's dopamine, 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 dopamine. It's not a crafted world. They just spawn a bunch of enemies in for you to go kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, fight, 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 and um, endlessly grind enemies. In some cases, that's not a good thing. So when I see that, it actually makes me a little scared. Not gonna lie, uh, I've played some games like that before. <laughs> Like, like, look, look, look at this. It's like, it's like pack of mobs, pack of mobs, pack of mobs. It's like every two steps is a pack of mobs. So. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. We've got some little puzzles. Okay, so fill it up with water. It's a puzzle. Not the best looking puzzles, but okay. Not very clear what you do either, but. Okay. We got our mount. I mean, the enemies look cool to me. Like, that thing looks awesome. That one's aggressive. It's trying to attack them. Looks pretty cool. Wait. Oh, I thought they killed it. Oh, they did fight it. This is a new unit. Oh! Okay. That thing, that thing flies in the air and charges in. You level up. We're only level one, level three now. Okay. Basic quests and chests. Is there a boss fight in this? I mean, that is kind of cool that you can fly around. But it's like, does everyone get a, a mount? Does everyone get this or not? Like, that world seems huge. This all looks like playable content. Is that up there? That looks like there's a, a something up there. Is that? Like, I don't... It's hard to conceptualize it. It seems very big, though. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay, so we've seen this whole area, and then it's going to cut to a different area. So this is where we started. We were, we were all in here. Little dash, okay. All right, another area. Is this a completely different area? I don't see anything in the backdrop that's connected, but maybe we're just around the corner somewhere. But I'm guessing if they built this, you'd go there, but maybe not. Do we see this before? No. Didn't see this before. This is a different mountain. Okay, so we got to, like, this seems very large. Like, very large. 
Okay. And yeah, we saw this. This is like almost from the trailer footage. A boss? Is this a boss? No, it's a dance party! Oh, that's a doing, baby! No, it's a boss. Okay, dodge it. Dodge it. It's already harder than 90% of enemies in Genshin Impact because it had a three hit combo that you needed to dodge. Okay, let's see if we take any damage though. Okay, sent out an air blast, another air blast. Nice dodge. There's perfect counters. That was a four hit combo. Hey, get down here! Okay. You can weakness break it, and then you get a, a damage window. Okay. There's a lot of animations and a lot of swapping. Very flashy. Um, the other thing I want to make note of is look at the HP bar. So there's there's different there's different debuffs, but also look, the electric one stacks. So she hits it. Try to pause it. Oh no, go back! Uh, try to pause it. So there's electric two, and then it goes down to electric one. But I don't know what that means conceptually. But there seems to be some sort of dots or debuffs. Um, I haven't seen anything that's like melt or vaporize, but maybe it's similar. Another dragon enemy. Ice attack. Wow. That sent out like an attack from both sides. Watch it. See that? It's like bang, bang, coming from both sides. I have no reason not to try this. Knock down. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, finally some good content. We can farm, baby. Whoa! Like you actually can make a farm. What the hell, Pal World? I don't know what this game is. Is it Pal World Gotcha Game? Is it? Uh, I don't know what this is, but interesting. I mean, it, I'm trying it for sure. I'll play it. Yo, yeah, that pet is actually helping with farming. Wait, that 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 pet actually was used to do that. It's slamming down and doing that. It's like Pal World. All right, we found a new game. All right, it's it's kind of it's we we did it. We found a new game. No, I mean yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's just so interesting that there's so many of these games coming out. There's so many open world gotcha games. Arc Field, this one, Mugen. There was one the other day people were showing me, and uh, I kind of roasted it because the goblins kept getting juggled and like wouldn't attack you and stuff. There, there's like 15 of them. So, I mean, I could just jump from game to game to game, and, and we'll find one that's good. One of them has to be good. And if not, we play the game for a month and go, yeah, this game's dog trash, and we move on. But... There's just like 50 of them. There's like 50 games being made, bro.